as much a part of this country as hockey or maple syrup or even me. <laughs> Through the years, he's won 16 Juno Awards and he's a member of the Canadian Music Hall of Fame. Simply put, he's a legend, a great artist, and I'm proud to say a friend. Please welcome Gordon Lightfoot. Among Canadian folkies, Gordon Lightfoot inspires a generation with his deeply personal songs. In some ways, Lightfoot defined the Canadian folk scene. When he appeared on the scene in the 60s, it was different somehow. Lightfoot coming out of small town Canada and sounding like it, but being really good. You can't jump a jet plane like you can a freight train. I mean, it takes the singing hobo into the next era. You know, it goes from the dirty 30s troubadour kind of thing into the, you know, the jet age. Well, it's been recorded by a lot of people and, uh, uh, First, of course, by Ian and Sylvia, but eventually uh, Dylan took a shot at it and did it really good. And uh, and Elvis, uh, as a, uh, I think, is a wonderful version of it. As I've written more songs myself, I can see the real craft in them. And those recordings of those early songs are really amazing. Beautiful voice, don't you think? I mean, so unique. He has a naturalist aspect to him, you know? Um, it's kind of like the Emily Carr of Canadian songwriting, if you will. Canadian Railroad Trilogy is absolutely one of the most beautiful, perfect songs ever written. It's dramatic, it's melodic, it's just fantastic. Long before the white man and long before the wheel When the green dark forest was too silent to be real But time has no beginning and the history has no bounds As to this burdened country They came from all around They sailed upon her waterways And they walked the forest tall Built the mines, mills, and the factories For the good of us all We were in Montreal, courtesy of the record label, promoting something. And the record promotion guy took us to a little coffee house. There were about 50 of us in the audience. And Gordon came out and did an entire 60-minute set of original material. And Randy and I kept nudging each other in the ribs and saying, someday that'll be us. Gordon Lightfoot was a great role model for me because I had such tremendous pressure to move to the U.S. And I saw what he did. I mean, he, he stayed here. And he's not a myth. He's a reality. And he's a very interesting reality. And he just seemed to be like a man in love with songwriting. Those autobiographical ones like Sundown and Painter Passing too, they seem to pop off every once in a while when you, when you got one, you got a, a good one. I'm feeling no pain. I knew right, right at the time that I was working on it that uh, I could feel some potential there. And we felt the same thing too and we recorded the song, uh, that it might be a single, and it actually was. You could read my mind, love, or the tale my thoughts could tell. Just like an old time movie about the ghost from a wishing well in a castle dark, or a fortress from the chains upon my feet. You know that ghost is me. Love, but the 
tale your thoughts could tell Just like a paperback novel A candy in a drugstore would sell And you reach the part where the heartaches come The hero would be me But the heroes often fail He wrote a lot of his great, you know, classics in the 60s, the early morning rains and that. But in terms of his voice, the sound that we all, when we think of Lightfoot, it didn't really start kind of emerging until the 70s. If you could read my mind, love, for the tale my thoughts could tell. Just like an old time movie about a ghost from a wishing well in a castle dark. Or a fortress strong with chains upon my feet. You know that ghost is me. And I would never be set free as long as I'm a ghost that you can't see. If I could read your mind, love, what a tell your thoughts could tell. Just like a paperback novel The kind that the drugstore sell When you reach the part Where the heartaches come The hero would be me But heroes often fail And you won't read that book again Because the ending's just too hard to take 